My name is uh, Dino Salvatore. I am a publisher and founder of uh, the last publisher's house in the world that still produces everything by hand. The reason of making so special book is because uh, our mission to make books that will stand the test of time became my aspiration. So uh, we replace technology with people and this is the reason how makes so special book. In this case is because uh, we are here for present one of the last books that our company that is called DNA Lamborghini and it's dedicated to the co to Lamborghini brand and uh, make together as a partnership and it's uh, the history of all the company and uh, all the car main car produced in the history and uh, this book was present here in gyms three months ago and uh, here we are making a second presentation with uh, Carson Co because it's only for true lovers. It's a really limited edition, only 250 copies and um, 50 of them they are already uh, collected. Reason for being here is because uh, it's only for, it's not advertising, it's almost a secret, it's an art piece. And it's only for true collector and true lover of not only the brand, but of culture and they want something that will stay longer than us. I like here the people more than the car. They are really people that are extremely collector, extremely lover, and they treat this car as baby. As, and uh, for many people it's impossible to explain their love for the car. It's some stick in your DNA or some stick in your blood. Here there are people from all different countries, on all different brands, but they are still connected with the, from the same love, from the same engine in the, under the, uh, any of this car. Hi, I'm Francesco Canta and I'm the founder and CEO of Carson Coffee. So Carson Coffee was born in the uh, in US in a totally different uh, format, much, much easier. So I got inspired over there from, from Carson Coffee, the atmosphere, the, the people, the cars. And then I brought the, the same uh, name to Italy. We create a totally different format and we create a new movement around uh, that, making it now a global phenomenon. So I wanted to create something new, something that uh, would have been able to put people together from different countries but with the same passion. So after my trip to to US where I saw this amazing atmosphere and this amazing passion, I decided to create in Italy something similar but with a different kind of format, so let's say more luxurious format that uh, could allow all the owners to stay in a nice environment all together, do networking between us, so very, very nice environment. And, uh, and this is the reason why we created uh, Cars and Coffee. All the venue that we choose they always need to have a nice area with, uh, with grass, so to be able to display cars like a Concord Elegance. And I think that La Reserve matches very well this with this central area. And, uh, and location for the next event, you can expect something similar or even better. All right, my name is Alexandre Moreau. I'm the director of Cars and Coffee Geneva. Welcome. The thing is to share an experience, share a passion that they can only maybe see on the internet or on TV, and now they can go close to the cars, talk with the people, meet all the stars that they see on Instagram, on YouTube, talk with them, get to know them, and just share that passion as much as they can. I chose this place because it is one of the best hotels we have in Geneva. La Reserve, I'm extremely happy with them, worked with them in the past, I was also a member myself. This is the second year, um, Lamborghini, Port and Geneva, came back as one of the main sponsors with Michelin. We're so happy with them. Uh, to me, I'm a client of theirs. We're friends, we work together, and having them here is, is again, that family atmosphere objective. We want to go bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger, and try to bring as much friends that we have all over the world together, now in Geneva, in Brescia for the Cars and Coffee Brescia, we're planning Cars and Coffee London, etc, etc. It's to go worldwide.
Alors je m'appelle Brian Moulet, je suis vendeur au garage à Folter, donc Lamborghini Port Entruy. Et le Carzen Coffee pour nous il est venu avec Alexandre Moureau qui nous a un petit peu influencé à le faire et puis aujourd'hui c'est la deuxième année qu'on le fait et on est super content de pouvoir participer à nouveau. Moi ce que, ce que je préfère c'est de voir toutes les personnes regarder les voitures, admirer que ce soit aussi bien des différentes marques et puis respecter chaque marque et regarder chaque détail chez la, aussi bien chez la concurrence que, que, que chez Lamborghini. J'espère qu'il reste tel qu'il est aujourd'hui, c'est-à-dire qu'un rendez-vous avec des passionnés essentiellement et puis voilà. Welcome everyone to this second edition of Cars and Coffee Geneva. You know, I think Cars and Coffee is not just a, a car gathering, but it's especially about people. And so it's really amazing to see here so many friends uh, enjoying. Uh, so this is something that makes us uh, super, super happy. Hey guys, how are you? I hope you're enjoying having a lot of fun as we do. I'm really happy to see all of you today. You know, it feels like a family, and to me, you're all my brothers and sisters. So it feels good, you know, that one time during the year, from all over the world, we come and we meet here today, you know? And I want to thank you, because the guys to thank, it's really you. And thanks to some amazing sponsors and partners like we have. We have Lamborghini Port Entruy, Geneva, you know, bringing those amazing jets, bringing those crazy cars and making things the way they are happen. We have DNA. Tilo, Pegasus, you know, we're gonna go in the afternoon after the big drive we're doing. He's gonna explain you also on the Pegasus uh, dealership how it's gonna be. I wanna thank Michelin, the coffee, everybody. You know, La Reserve for uh, giving us the possibility to be here today. And again, a big thank you to you guys. You know I consider you all like my family, okay? Yeah. Big kiss. <laughs> Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I look forward to welcoming you in our home, Pegasus, uh, Geneva. Uh, later today, we have a really special uh, array of cars which have been prepared for you. We have two 177s, and this year is also the 100th anniversary of Zagato, so we'll be um, also displaying three Zagato models there as well. Bon appétit, and have a safe drive. Okay guys, so get ready after lunch. We're gonna pick up the cars, go for the drive. You will follow the route uh, that we propose. And we all meet in Lyon at the Pegasus Motorship. Enjoy guys, bon appétit, huh? Ciao, ciao, ciao. So after lunch, as Alex said, we are gonna leave. So please follow our instruction to move out of the location. So first will be the cars on the grass to leave the, the location. And uh, please uh, follow the two Aston Martin and the two Rolls Royce that will lead us in a safe way to the second location. So enjoy and see you later. Thank you.
Luca, Luca, Luca. My name is Philo Martin, I'm the Managing Director of Pegasus Automotive Group. We are uh, partners of the Cars & Coffee event since uh, the last edition, the first edition in Geneva. And uh, I'm a personal friend of uh, Alexandre Bourg. So we're, uh, we're just outside of Geneva, in Nyon, a pleasant length of drive to uh, come and, and drive all the way here from, uh, from La Réserve. And uh, we have a, a good, amount of, good amount of space. We have 5,200 square meters of uh, exterior land, which enables us to Host all of our, all of these uh, uh, all of these nice cars here in our dealership. The first cars and coffee event was uh, held in Crystal Cove, uh, south of uh, Los Angeles, and it was really a, a a very down to earth get together of car enthusiasts, which could share their passion in an event uh, where they could talk about not to sixty times and and uh, car specifications and um, and exchange what we uh, what we love about our our different types of cars. We were delighted to take part of the event uh, and participated in the discussions from the first organization um, and have been involved ever since uh, the very beginning of the uh, organization of Cars and Coffee. There's very little types of events where you can find this many cars, this many uh, rare and uh, exclusive cars in one, in one event. And uh, the cars are very approachable, people are very, uh, are very approachable. And, and that's a, that's a really uh, barriers that, that you don't have in, in other types of events. Um, the fact that it's uh, that that everybody's uh, along the same lines and uh, and really can uh, uh, can approach the cars in a, in a very um, in, in a very uh, down to earth manner. So I'm Tazzy Baby. My real name is Tamara, and Cars and Coffee is my organization. I'm joking. Cars and Coffee is run by my friends. <laughs> Passion for cars started at a very young age. I received my first book, which was a book on cars, and then my first poster in my room was actually a Lamborghini. Um, I'm not sure, I think my dad got it for me. He also doesn't really like cars, so I'm not sure why. Um, a brand that I love, Lamborghini, mm, has always been a dream, has always been something I wanted to buy, and I will be getting one, so stay tuned for that. So my car is a modified AMG GTS. Um, what attracts me to it? Oh, I don't know if it's the exterior because it's wrapped in crocodile or if it's the exhaust, which I also modified. It's one of the two. How did I discover Cars and Coffee? So I have a friend from Saudi Arabia who lives in London and one of my friends introduced us and the day after there was a Cars and Coffee event in London. It was the first one. And just by coincidence, I ended up going there and I knew some of the guys already, Pog, Rana, I'd already been doing rallies with them. So I went to the event and I met Francesco, who's one of my very good friends, and Alex, who runs this one, who's one of my very good friends. Um, would I recommend it? Yes, I would. Favorite thing about Cars and Coffee is you never know what the best car will be. Um, this year we had a Pagani join, which was a surprise. Last year we had a Centenario, which I think was the best one. 
Um, and next year's event, I'm sure, will be better than this one again. My name is Sev Delaney and uh, I've been along with Cars and Coffee for many, many years as a friend of Francesco's and now a supporter of Cars and Coffee. So I got into cars probably when I was around eight years old. Uh, my grandfather had a, a little Morgan and uh, that just got me into cars like massively and then once uh, I saw that I started looking up more cars bit by bit. I'm sort of one of these young kids from the 21st century so I had internet and then just from there the passion grew and now I find myself at events like this and, and my favorite car company is probably now Pagani. There was one right here. It's left now, unfortunately, but I'm sure you guys have seen footage of it. I discovered Cars and Coffee through a friend of mine who was friends with Mr. Cars and Coffee. And off the back of that, you know, I got to meet Mr. Cars and Coffee, Francesco, and uh, just became a massive, you know, I just saw his vision and I thought his vision was amazing on sharing and bringing together people who had this passion. And so ever since I went to the first event, I knew I was hooked and now I'll do anything I can not to miss one. So I'm, I'm completely hooked to the Cars and Coffee brand. Every event, you, you, you sort of calibrate your mind to, okay, this is what it's gonna be, and it gets better and better and better. And it being in Geneva this year, you kind of knew, right, there's gonna be some sick cars because it's an Afrian area. Um, but then yet again, even though I expected it to be mad, it still outdid my expectations. So they've done really well. My favorite thing is, is the people that come here, but then the cars and the coffee are pretty bloody good too. So yeah, both of those are pretty strong. So this is my beautiful baby of two years now. As you can see, crocodile skin, it used to be camouflage, so you can see some of the old decal underneath, um, which I just could not part with myself. These are customized one of one pink, not in production, tire stickers for me. Blacked out everything, and then my windows are electronic tints. So if you look closely, it's like a mirror. You can't see anything. It's like 100, it's 100% blackout. It's also a one of one on the white leather. Um, it's a unique spec. It's an option, but it's obviously just a more expensive one. So I haven't seen it on any other AMGs. So as I said, 700 brake horsepower, straight pipe exhaust system, custom. Are you guys ready? And that's how you know Tazzy Baby's around. My name is Edmund Barsagan. I've been invited to this beautiful event. Let me tell you guys a little about my car. This is a 2007 Lamborghini Murcielago. It is the world's only red Rosa Andromeda gated LP640. It has a custom wrap on it, but the original color of the car is this. That red is the original color of the car. I have converted it to rear wheel drive. Uh, I like to do burnouts and donuts. Straight pipe exhaust, no cats, no mufflers. Uh, lowered suspension. I put an LP670 body kit on it. And this is my favorite part of the car. This gated shifter to me makes all the difference in the world. I don't like pedals. Changing gears with this, the noise it makes, it sounds like you're cocking a rifle. It is driving this car through a canyon road. There is nothing like it changing gears. I feel in tune with this car. I searched for this car for about four years. I had a orange one, but my dream was to have a red one. And because this is the only one it took me four years to find, when I finally found it, uh, you know, I had to buy it. And uh, I've never looked back. This is my dream come true, this car. <laughs> Lamborghini did an amazing job with this car. Even firing V12 engine, there is nothing like it in the world. Best engine. Nice. Gives me joy every single time I get in this car. It is, from all the cars I've owned, this is the one car that I get inside, it puts a smile on my face every single time.
This is the Aston Martin Vanquish Zagato shooting brake. Um, it was a uh, limited edition of 99 pieces, and this is actually the production prototype of this, uh, of this model. A very, very special car indeed, and it's uh, a launch color, uh, which the car was presented in, uh, in Villa d'Este, originally in the coupe form. Uh, and uh, uh, Aston Martin and Zagato have a uh, history which dates back to the, to the Aston Martin DB4. And uh, this year is actually a very special year for Zagato since it's the 100th anniversary of the brand. Since 1919, they've been building uh, more exclusive and more beautiful uh, projects like this one. Uh, with a uh, naturally aspirated V12 engine, very, very distinctive design with a floating roof, uh, which is one of their signature design features. Uh, this very sophisticated rear uh, light design with an integrated rear spoiler and of course a quad exhausts uh, to help the, the V12 naturally aspirated breathe. We have the uh, Z motif which goes through the interior which is the signature detail of Zagatos uh, and let's hear the uh, V12 symphony. In the interior we also have this glass roof and we actually can change how dark or light we want it to be just with a touch of a button like this. Z is the first letter of his name, which he puts to every car that he uh, rebodies as a symbol of uh, the work that he's done on the body of the car. So guys, I'm so happy to show you my car. Uh, as you can see, well now, today, it is a one of one with the Alec Monopoly uh, design mixed with tags and paint. Uh, it is made on a PPF, so a lot of people were scared that I actually uh, did um, the paint on the, well, on the paint of the car and now there's a PPF under. So absolutely, uh, if I want to take it off, I can. But it is so cool that the point is to drive with it and do the maximum as I can, uh, as I can go all around the world with it. All right, okay, so you're in the latest uh, Lamborghini, the SVJ. It is the top of the top of the brand, V12, 770 horsepower. Uh, it is a pure beast. And this car, every time you drive it, like every time you feel like a superhero. And I'm, gonna say, I, I'm not gonna say it enough, it is such an experience driving it every time. It is, it is perfect and so good and brings you so much, you know? So I'm really, really happy with it. All right, guys, so I'm gonna start it up, make some reps, and let's go. You check the back, there's even fire coming out of it. Look at that Lamborghini V12 noise. <laughs> okay.
If you have to describe uh, cars and coffee in a few words, what would it be? Lamborghinis, mayhem. Really? Uh... It's a celebration of the automotive passion. <laughs> really got me into cars. And then... Are we going to be okay? I've just been with Cars and Coffee since the beginning. I already have the question. Um, then when... For f sake, right. Last question. The world is ending. If you have to choose between driving a car or having a cup of coffee, what would it be? I would drive my car to go get coffee. Doing both, driving a car while, while drinking the coffee. Driving a car faster than the world. What about you? Actually, I prefer much more the cars <laughs> than the coffees. It would definitely be the, the driving the car, absolutely, without a question of doubt. I drive a car, but what makes this event brilliant is you don't have to make that choice, I guess. So you can do both. So I'd say I'd just come to a Cars and Coffee event. I wouldn't make the decision. So yeah. <laughs>